Hello my friends! In this tutorial I'll show you how to paint rain in the light. Let's begin. First I'm going to trace out the lamp, the bulb and the area that is on top of the lamp. I'm going to place here few accents and those will help me later to determine where is the light and where is the shadow. For the background I'm going to put a gradient. I will start with black on the edges and as I'm going towards the middle I'm going to place my brighter colors. I'm going to go gray and then white. I'm putting here a little green. Well, it's not gonna remain green. I'm going to add more color on top of it. I want to take a second to thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more art videos and art tutorials. Now I am defining the brightest area in the painting because the light radiates down from the bulb. So I'm putting bright white here and I'm blending gently with the gray and the black that is around it. And I'm working my way until I get a soft transition, until it's a soft gradient that I'm happy with. Here I'm tracing the bulb and the under part of the lamp. I am putting now more black on the edges to um, add more depth. And I'm also adding black on the areas where it's uh, darkness. I'm going to redefine the bulb. I'm putting a layer of white all over it and then I will texturize it with a little gray. Um, this lamp, it's a black lamp, but because of the bulb, it will carry uh, areas of brightness and the drops of water that will be on top of it will be very shiny. This uh, will be the brightest area of my painting, so I will add several layers of white on the bulb. Here I'm adding a little texture just to suggest the volume, but I will keep the edge white. I will add several layers as I am going through the painting to make sure that the central part remain bright. Now I'm putting the shadow, just solid black, and I'm going to put also shadow on the side. I'm going to trace right now a few horizontal and I'm going to use the small detail brush for this. This will create texture for the top part of the lamp. For this I'm going to add several layers of grays and black and then I'm going to put the highlights on top. Now I'm putting the gray, I'm creating the base for my, um, for my texture and after it dries I will put the details. In the meantime I'm going to work the area under and here I'm just applying patches of strong light and shadow. For the rain, I'm going to paint verticals, different length, different direction and different transparencies. 
And I think this is the key element when you want to paint rain. Use different transparencies because the drops that are closer to us, they're going to be brighter. The drops that are far back, they're going to be less visible. So we're going to do that with more transparent colors. And to achieve transparency, we simply mix more water and then the color will have less pigment. So, moving on. Now I am putting few horizontals on the top part of the lamp. This is a metal straight lamp and it's very important when we paint, especially when we have different texture, different materials, to make that material be alive, to make the glass look like glass, the metal like metal. If it's fabric, make it look like fabric. What is characteristic for metal? It's the shyness. And that's what we will do now. We will have areas of strong, intense light and strong, intense darkness. For this, we will use just black in the middle. On the top part of the lamp, I'm going to place drops of water. And for this, I'm going to use a strong white. But before, I'm going to enhance the edge of the lamp. And I'm just simply drawing a line. For the water drops, I'm just placing dots of white. They're going to be different sizes and different directions. Some of them are bigger, some of them are so close together that they create a line. And a few more here on the top, just like that. I am adding a few more horizontal lines in the area that it's uh, semi-bright and I am blending everything. Now I am adding a little texture on the part that it's underneath. And a few more drops of water on both sides. I'm going to add dots of white, different sizes, and then I will put more water on top of it to take away the strength. The final part will be to add drops of water on the edge of the lamp. And uh, for this, I'm going to alternate the areas that have a strong light with a strong shadow. These drops of water receive the most amount of light. So that's why the brightness and the darkness will be the strongest and you will have lots of contrast on the inside of each drop of water. It's not difficult to, to draw, to paint um, water. It's just that you have to pay attention what is the source of light. And that will, um, will guide you where to put your white, where to put the black, where to put the, the medium tone. And you will have natural looking drops of water in no time and without effort. Now I am putting 
few more drops on the edges but those um, are different than the one in the center they're gonna mix with the drops that already exist there so they won't be as clear as the other one and of course for brightness I apply few more accents with white and the final part will be to add the rain the one that is the closest to us the final layer of rain and we will use the strongest white Usually when we paint rain, we have to consider the wind's direction. But here, because the water is dripping from the lamp, we will have water in all the directions. This is my final rain painting. Give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website at mgartgallery.co